What's up guys, welcome back. So we're here again in Nampa. Uh, just got back. Um, again, I had those two videos uploaded before I ever left the house, which is weird. Something I hope I never have to do again. But uh, taking the, that time off for family reasons, like I said, I don't wanna leave you guys with nothing for two weeks. So you got those couple videos and we're grabbing this one. It's like five in the afternoon. Um, just gonna go ahead and take this one back home. It's going to Arizona. Even if I left right now, I still couldn't deliver until Tuesday because by the time I got to the dealer on Monday, tomorrow, they would have closed like an hour and a half, two hours before I got there. So not really any point in trying to drive through the night and uh, all this, I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up, but it just started snowing. My guess, probably gonna get worse. So. I've already put my license plate on, already got the battery. I have all my equipment laid out. Let's go ahead and get this thing hooked up and uh, I'll catch you guys tomorrow as we roll on down to Arizona. Um, I put in a request for another load. I'll find out tomorrow if I'm getting that one or not. And uh, I'll see you guys then. trip done trucks loaded up laundry's done all that good fancy stuff and it's time to get back to work uh, like I said yesterday this one's going down to Arizona <clears throat> already got my permits so it's time to get rolling she's unlocking the gate she's got to get to work and I'll catch you guys somewhere down the road Hey guys, so we made it to Henderson, Nevada. Uh, take two on this. The wind started blowing pretty bad halfway through the first take, and I uh, just deleted it, start over. I'm just gonna hang out back here at the back of the trailer. Uh, so that puts us about five hours, 45 minutes from delivery tomorrow. Did not get that load I wanted, but wound up being not upset about it. Uh, a, it was a stranded driver. And they were able to find someone who would get there this morning and pick it up. So that's good. Better for everyone involved. Uh, B, I wound up with a much better load. And you guys will see that tomorrow. <clears throat> so, all in all, pretty good. Uh, hit actually some real snow finally with these tires. Um, you guys saw the video clips. It wound up getting a good deal worse than that. So, um very impressed with these if, as long as I can get some decent mileage out of them very happy and I'll just run them all year if I can't run them all year uh, 
or if they don't get decent mileage, I'll probably buy them again just because they're cheap and they work really great in the snow. I'll get a second set of wheels, put them on, and uh, <clears throat> just have a summer summer winter set. You know what I mean? Um, anyway, that's pretty much it for this one. Uh, oh, for those of you that have for those of you that have been around here for a while uh you remember last year's super bowl i had that incident at the uh truck stop where that guy robbed those two truckers um wound up shooting both of them that was not a video i wanted to do uh but anyway i received a subpoena in the mail so i get to go be i get to go testify in that case so that'll be fun uh, trying to figure out how to do that and not lose too much in wages so fingers crossed that we can figure something out there anyway I'm going to go in and eat my dinner go to bed I'll catch you guys at some point tomorrow and uh, we'll get a little bit more update I'll catch you then okay and here we are in uh, Tucson, Arizona uh, <laughs> I've been running into this a lot lately and I, I can't figure out what's happening uh, but I'll sit somewhere for 45 minutes an hour, hour and a half, whatever and someone will have, oh no one told me so the person at the front desk isn't calling when they say they are or I don't know, there's clearly a disconnect but whatever um, not as bad as uh, a lot of you guys are doing semis and hot shots and I, you know, I'm here in three or four hours at a loading unloading bay, so it's whatever. But you guys have a, a better rate per mile, so it's give and take. I don't know. It's just irritating. You know, like I said, if there's a bunch of drivers, great. Or if the dealership is slammed, great. But when I watch eight guys come out and have a cigarette break. <laughs> uh, anyway, he's going to get this finish checked in and, uh, and then we're off to get the next one. I'll catch you guys in just a bit. And there you go. <clears throat> uh, just about an hour and a half of sitting. Um, got my PTI done. <clears throat> Wind's blowing pretty good, so I don't want to try and fill them outside. But sat in traffic for about an hour and a half because there was an accident. Uh, looks like a couple semis got tangled. I hope everyone's okay. One of them looked really bad, so I hope everyone's okay. Um, sat there for about 20 minutes and then my, my GPS goes, we found a faster route. Would you like to take it? I was like, sure. I got places to be. And it said, get on I-10 frontage road. And I went, great. I will get on the frontage road. And well, it wasn't much of a frontage road as you saw, but it was only like that for like six miles. So, not bad. And I managed to get around about five five or six miles of, um, no, it was probably like four miles of just backed up, stopped, completely stopped traffic. So, 
for all I know, they're all still sitting there. Um, so that's not bad. Uh, I got a message from one of you today and kind of helped go through a situation. Um, going to get some details on that tomorrow and I think it would be a good topic to put onto the channel. It's not something that I've ever discussed. It's not something I've encountered. So it'll be some new content. Um, assuming I can get all the details that I need to give you guys an adequate picture, uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that. So stand by for later in this video. It will be tomorrow for me. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, stand by for later in this video. Hopefully I have that. It'll make some uh, some good knowledgeable content for uh, I mean, it's not a situation you're going to come across very often, but be very good to have this information, uh, especially considering the way it looks like it's going out for this driver. So we'll address that tomorrow. I'm going to go eat some dinner and I'm going to go to bed and I'll catch you guys at some point tomorrow. Have a good night. Hey guys, good morning. So it's uh, a little after 10, which is weird for me to be just getting on the road now. But again, as I said in the live video last night, I can't deliver this until one and I'm only two and a half hours away. So, A, I'm trying to keep you guys out of the wind, which I'm sure is not going well right now. Um, anyway, so what I wanted to talk to you guys about, and I will here in just a second when we get back here so there's no wind. Uh, what I wanted to talk to you guys about that I mentioned earlier is one of you um, picked up a load and due to situations that were kind of beyond your control, you couldn't get all of the pictures you needed to verify any damage prior to picking the unit up. And what I mean by that is this corner of the trailer, a few feet up the side, well, like, it, not this trailer, but of, of a different trailer, probably 15 feet up the one side, and then almost all of the back side of the trailer was covered with a deck and that lattice siding and and uh, a storage shed here on the back and the, the deck was on the side. Now, you know, you could have kind of crawled around, maybe got under the deck and got a better picture, but who's going to think to do that, right? <clears throat> so, hooked up to the trailer, have the customer there, because this is being picked up at an RV park and then delivered. Had the customer there, hey, look, I can't see the passenger side of this. Watch it for me. Guide me out. Make sure I'm not going to hit that deck because it's right against the trailer. <clears throat> well, customer didn't say anything. Come on, you're good. You're good. You're good. Yep, come on. Keep coming. You're good. All of a sudden, customer's wife comes out screaming, you wrecked my trailer, blah, 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 blah. And there's damage to the trailer. Now, was it already there? Was the deck and the storage shed covering it? Was it damaged when it got put in? I don't know. Uh, I've seen the pictures of the deck. I, I've seen the pictures of the, the trailer. And the damage isn't matching up. Um, and that's my opinion. I don't, I don't know one way or the other. But there's a bunch of black marks down the side of the trailer here. From a wooden deck? I don't know. I don't know. But that's that's just my opinion. I don't know. Horizon sided with the customer, which I disagree with. But, uh, again, not my company. So, you know, and I, I've heard these kind of horror stories from all, all of the companies. Oh, there was 
they they claimed rock chips and and i didn't see anything when i dropped it off and i had the full width mud flap and this that and the other and i got claimed for this damage and, and this that and the other and, and i get it you know you've got office people doing office things trying to understand what we're doing as drivers and there's a disconnect you know i i don't think that it's these these companies horizon or whoever synergy anyone i don't think that it's that they're crooked i think they don't understand they're office people they sit behind a desk and and click keyboards all day and they don't understand what we're doing out here uh and i think that's a problem you know to some degree i wonder if and this is just total spitballing should you be a driver for x amount of time and then if you want to move into the office you can you know, I don't know. So it's that way, these people that are in the office that are, you know, like like I said the other day, I have to fuel up and then sit there for seven minutes blocking the island because I have to do 15 minutes when I'm ELD. Like, I get it. If I was, you know, not ELD, then I could just say I'm on fueling and then take off and go park somewhere. But if I hit three miles an hour my thing rolls back into driving and then they're upset that I didn't log 15 minutes for fuel. You see what I mean? But if I wasn't ELD and I was just using the app like most of you are, uh, then I get it. They want everything in 15 minute increments. Great. Easy day. But doing that, you can put yourself in fueling and then go park somewhere and then as soon as your 15 minutes is up, take off. I can't. So, yeah, you know, the same thing with the picking up. I'm done in 18, 20, 21 minutes, whatever, and I have to sit there, which does that doesn't bother me at all. I just, I'm losing 10 minutes, but that's when I pull my phone out and I talk to you guys. I've been doing that anyway. Now I'm just doing it on duty instead of off. But these are the things that office people don't understand. So, I don't know. Um, the importance here is if... Uh, you come into that situation or something like it, make the customer move the trailer or mo- not move the trailer, move the deck. So A, you're not in danger of hitting it and B, you can see. If the trailer's covered up in some way and there's something like, oh, you can't see that part of the trailer, then I'm not hooking up to it because that driver just lost a thousand dollars out of his security deposit on a trailer that paid $380 to deliver. Cool, right? It's starting to rain really bad. I'm going to get in the truck. Uh, I'm going to take off down the road. Oh, my God. It is coming down. All right. Uh, I don't know if we'll be able to catch you guys at the drop. I hope so. And I'll see you then. All right, guys. So that's it. That's the last trailer of 2020. Um, Just trying to kill my last couple minutes here before I hit my 30 minute timeline so I can start driving again and uh, get moving on to the next one. I'm already dispatched, but I won't pick it up until after the new year. So that's going to do it for 2020. That is the last load of this year. And this is my first full year calendar, January 1st to December 31st, working for Horizon. Obviously, I've been working longer, but I didn't make it the full year for 2019. So this is my first full year. And once I file my taxes, I'll do a full breakdown of what I made and what my costs were uh, to some degree. Because again, not everyone is going to have the truck payment I do. Not everyone is going to have, you know what I mean? You know, the insurance is going to be pretty close to the same for everyone. But, you know, this truck's $1,100 a month. Uh, Not everyone's going to have that. So keep in mind that as I show what I make, you have the potential to actually make a, a a couple thousand more, realistically, if you don't have this ridiculous of a payment so um anyway that's gonna do it for this video 
uh, the wind is pouring like crazy outside. So as always, those of you out on the roads, I wish you fair winds and following seas. Take care and have a great day.